Hello all, this is just a more thorough explanation of how you get to figure out what solfege note you're on. Um, the information that you need to know is multiple parts. The first thing that you need to know in order to be able to do this skill is what are the notes of the treble clef and of the bass clef. So just to review the notes of the bass and treble clef so that you know what note you are on. First thing to know is that the treble clef shows you where G is. If you're in the treble clef, this is where G is. That means that every line in every space gets a note name. So here's F, E, and going up past G, this would be A, B, C, D. So this note is sitting on an E. And here's F. And above F on the, on the space up here would be G. And above that, if I drew a line, that would be A. So that's how you figure out the notes of the treble clef. This is uh, old information, but there's a review of that part of it. The other thing that you'll need to know is the notes of the bass clef. And that's so that when we figure out what key we're in, we know what note we're on. The bass clef shows you where F is. The bass clef shows you where F is is. You can remember Great Britain doesn't fight America. Somebody told me that before. That was a funny one. And all cows eat grass. Or you can remember that you're just counting up and down the alphabet. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. This space would be B. If I kept on going up, it would be a C. And so this note right here, just note name is F because it's on the F line. So that's the, that's the information that you need to know to start this process. Now to actually figure out what key are you in, you need to know that too. I'm sorry, to figure out what solfege note you're in. You need to know what key you're in or how to find this solfege note because me knowing that this is an E doesn't help me here. So the next thing I need to know is what key I'm in. And we talked about key signatures too, so I'm going to go to a different one here. I'm going to go to this one that's got three sharps. If I have sharps in my key signature, whatever the last sharp on the page is, is T. So this is T right here. And so in this case, we can kind of already do the assignment because if you know that this is T, then this is La, this is So, this is Fa, me, and that makes this ray because I went right down the scale to get it. Um, likewise, let me go over here. Let me find another sharp one. There's another sharp one. Whatever my last sharp is, is T. This is T. So if this is T, then this is Do, and this is then Ray. Now, this works most of the time. You wouldn't even necessarily have to know the notes if you have lots of sharps and flats, uh, which we'll talk about flats in a minute. But if you don't have any sharps and flats, like in our first two examples here, if I don't see any sharps or flats, I am in the key of C, and C is Do. I need to know where C is to find Do, and that is why you need to know the note names in the treble and bass clef. Well, if I remember my G right here from treble clef, I've got G. A, B, right there's C. So C is Do. If C is Do, that makes this one Re, that makes this one right here Me, the one that I'm on right there. That's Me. So if I was to write the answer to that, I would write Me, and I would be correct. Yay. If I'm in the bass clef, let me erase this. If I'm in the bass clef, I know that F is right here. I do not see any sharps or flats to go from to get the answer. So I know that since there's no sharps and flats, C is Do. I have to find C. Well, I know F is right here. And so that makes E right here. This is D. And so C would be right there. And C is what? 
solfege note? Do. If C is do, that makes this one re, and this one me, and that puts this one on, what is it? That's right, this is fa, because C is do. So if I go down here and I mark fa, I will get that right. Yay, us. All right, so now we're gonna deal with some flats. When I'm dealing with sharps and flats in a key signature, it's actually a little bit easier. If I have sharps, like I said before, right over here, the last sharp is already T. And usually you do that so that you can find DO. So if I wanted to find DO, I'd go right above the last sharp, and that line right there would be DO. So I could go DO, T, LA, SO, FA, MI. This is a ray. Because I counted backwards in solfege. And I'm right. Let's do another one. Let me just find one of the sharps again. Here, here's our sharp that we did before. If I know that this last sharp here is T, that makes this one DO. Because that's right above the last sharp. If this is DO, what is this guy right above DO? That's right. It's Ray. So I mark Ray, and I know I'm right. How about this one? Well, if our last sharp is T, and that note is sitting on the last sharp, what note are we on? Well, that's T. Here's another one. Look at that. This note is sitting right here. Where's my last sharp? T. That makes the answer to this one? T. And did you even notice that you changed over the bass clef? Doesn't even really matter which clef you're in if you can do the sharps and the flats rule. So now let me show you the flats rule. Well, that was just good luck, wasn't it? If I want to find out where my uh, where my answer is with sh flats, I'm sorry, um, I need to go wherever the second to the last flat is, this flat is sitting on DO. And there are exceptions to this rule. So if this is DO, that means this is RE, this is FA, and this is, oh, I'm sorry, I said FA there. This is RE. This is me, excuse me, I looked at the answer. This is fa, because it's sitting right up there. Oops, I can't mark it when I'm marking on it. There we go. Now, here's that exception that I was telling you about. Well, I, there is no second to last do to go to. Well, there are two ways that you can remember this one. You can either think of it as the last flat is always fa. Okay, the last flat is always fa. You don't have to remember that though. What you can remember is that if there is one flat in the key signature, if you only see one flat in the key signature, you are in the key of F. That's just the answer. If you see one flat, think flat starts with F. Or if I want to do my other way and say, okay, well, if the last flat is fa, that makes this so, la. Well, our answer here is T, but look where do is. What notes that? That's F. Do is on an F. So there's one flat in your key signature. Your do is F. So I'm not looking for do, though. I'm looking for the answer. I'm going to go fa, so, la. This is T. Okay, now let's put it all together here. I've got sharps. I know my last sharp is T, and I'm looking for this note. Now you should think, hmm, that's sitting right on T. So the answer, yes, is T. I see flats. I go, well, I, whether my last flat is Fa or my second to last flat is Do, I, I like, I'm going to go with this one because this note's closer. So this is Do. Well, this one's right under Do, so it must be T. One sharp. Well, that doesn't matter. I know that that last sharp there is a T. Whoops, excuse me. I'll go T. Here, let me draw it. I'll go T. Well, then that makes this La. And this is So. And this is Fa. That makes this Me. Because that's right underneath Fa. Let's see what else we get here. 
Well, my second to the last flat is do. Do, ti, la, so. That's a so. Tricky one. There's no sharps and no flats. So that means I got to go dig in for C, right? Because I know that if there's no sharps and no flats, that do is C. So first thing I got to do is find C. Hmm. I could go Great Britain doesn't fight America and all cows. Well, there's C. If that is dough, this is yipper, it's T. Okay, one flat means that F is dough, right? Or if I see one flat, I can start at fa, so, la, this is T. Okay, so I hope that was a good review. So things that you need to do once again, you need to know Oh, that's right. They went to new examples because I answered them correctly. You need to know the notes of the treble clef. You need to know the notes of the bass clef to be able to do this. You need to know that if you don't see any sharps or flats in the key signature, and I don't have one of those up right now, if you don't see a sharp or flat in the key signature, you are in the key of C, meaning C is do. If you see flats in your key signature, this second to last flat right here is do. So do, T, la. That's the answer to this one, is la. If I see one flat, it is the key of F, or I can just say, well, this last flat here is fa. If that's fa, this is so. Right, there's do, this is T. Here's do again, T, la. Here's do, makes this one. Ray. And here's Do. That would make this T, La, So, Fa. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you and was a good uh, slower version of how to do all this with all the steps. Good luck to you.